Coming up in the Bahamas tonight, members of the Progressive Liberal Party taking their campaign machinery to Grand Bahama and Mont Moriah. Plus, police are still investigating the country's latest murder and hundreds of students honored for their academic performances. Don't go anywhere. The Bahamas Tonight Weekend Edition starts right now. Covering the islands of the Bahamas, ZNS Network presents The Bahamas Tonight. This portion of the news is brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Good evening and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight Weekend Edition. I'm LaDawn Davis. As always, it's great to have you joining us. The Progressive Liberal Party taking its campaign machinery to Grand Bahama last night. The island's first mass rally was held in West End, the capital of Grand Bahama, where scores of persons turned out to attend the event. As Shashina Rowe reports, the leader of the Progressive Liberal Party shared how he plans to revive Grand Bahama economy rather, if his party is elected at the 2012 general elections. PLP supporters turned out in large numbers at the first mass rally held in West End. Their party leader Perry Christie told those in attendance that in 2012, the FNM will have a collision of reality beginning in Grand Bahama. Grand Bahama is hiding, <laughs> suffering, suffering from nearly five years of almost unthinkable neglect. Did the FNM government ever have a plan for creating jobs here? Well, if they did, if they did have a jobs plan, it wasn't a jobs plan for Bahamians. After presiding over the most shocking mismanagement of the economy in Grand Bahama in our nation's history, the Prime Minister has the audacity to ask you for your vote. They should be asking you for forgiveness, Grand Bahama. While unemployment remains a concern for many Bahamians, Christie added that the Progressive Liberal Party created 22,000 jobs throughout the country. In fact, that's a conservative estimate. Mr. Prime Minister, put your reading glasses on. Look at the labor survey of the Department of Statistics. Look at the hiring at Atlantis Phase 3. Look at the hiring at Albany and second chance programs after the employment moratorium. You can look it up. We created that many jobs and more. But that's not all. We built 1,400 homes and a record number of classrooms. And we invested tens of millions in Bahamian entrepreneurs. When it comes to Grand Bahama, the PLP leader says if elected, his party will establish a ministry for the island. This will ensure that Grand Bahama's development receives the focused, specialized attention it deserves. As for tourism, we need to make Grand Bahama more competitive. We will, as a new government, cut government taxes at the airport and harbor in half. Cut hotel taxes by 50% for a period of five years for existing hotels and 10 years for new hotels. He had one request for the Grand Bahama Port Authority. I respectfully ask that the Grand Bahama Port Authority defer the appointment of a new executive chairman until after the general elections. Hubert Ingram has squandered his five-year mandate and it is unseemly for him to approve a new chairman on the eve of general election. The leader of the Progressive Liberal Party urged Grand Bahamians to hold on for just a little bit longer. He contends if the PLP is elected, hope and help is on the way. Shashina Roll, ZNS News. Member of Parliament for West End in Bimini, Obi Wilchcombe, is seeking a third consecutive term. While addressing party supporters, he noted that this election is about the future. And if he's re-elected, Wilchcombe outlined several initiatives for the area. Yes, yes. 
construction jobs in West Grand Bahama. Our program must be aggressive so that West Grand Bahama, from Bartlett Road to West End, could and would become a modern city community. We will complete the Bootle Bay Housing Division and we will put a park there where it's supposed to be. We will start new housing divisions at Denman's Reef and also in Holmes Rock. Pelican Lake will become a scenic beauty. The bushes will be cleared and a wonder of the world will be exposed. And I want you to know that no longer will we sit down and let them build schools in Freeport and build those schools in West Grand Bahama. Holcomb noted that the 8 Mile Rocks Friendship Shopping Plaza will also be transformed. Meanwhile, the Progressive Liberal Party will open another constituency headquarters in New Providence tonight. The opposition's Mount Moriah constituency office will opposite the Esso gas station on Thompson Boulevard. Tonight's speakers include Mount Moriah candidate Arnold Forbes, PLP deputy leader Philip Brave Davis, and party leader Perry Christie. The official opening ceremony starts at 8 o'clock tonight. The governing Free National Movement Party will officially open its Marco City Grand Bahama headquarters this evening. FNM leader, Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram, and the party's Marco City candidate, Norris Bain, will address the event, which will be aired live on ZNS radio and television beginning at 8 o'clock tonight. The murder count climbed by one overnight, and while police have not identified the country's latest murder victim, they need your help in locating the murder suspects. Authorities confirm that the murder occurred in the Eastern District of New Providence last night. Police say that the victim was reportedly approached by a man when he arrived home. The gunman reportedly exited a silver Honda vehicle, robbing the victim of his cell phone and subsequently shooting him. Police say the gunman fled the area in a waiting vehicle accompanied by another man. Officer in charge of the East Division Superintendent Ismela Davis provided initial details. The police would have received a call of gunshots being fired in this area on arrival and we met the body of a lifeless male clad in a khaki pants and a red and white shirt. The EMS was summoned um, and there was no signs of life from the body. The matter is now currently under active police investigation. The team from CDU along with Uniform, are actively pursuing this matter at this time. Officer in charge of the Central Division and National Crime Prevention Director, Superintendent Stephen Dean, confirming to ZNS News late this afternoon that police have a man in custody regarding this murder. However, if you can assist authorities with any information, please contact the Central Detective Unit at 502-9991 or 502-9910, Crime Stoppers at 328-TIPS-919 or your nearest police station. In other news from the crime beat, police wasting no time cracking several murder cases as they arrested a number of suspects in the last 24 hours. Police Superintendent Stephen Dean confirming to ZNS News that they have a man in custody for that murder on Scott Street over a week ago. That's when 25-year-old Deshante Bain of Scott Street was shot to death. Then, police have two men in custody for last Wednesday's murder on the Sermilo Butler Highway. One of them is a 21-year-old resident of Bethel Avenue in Stapleton Gardens who was arrested by mobile division officers officers around 6 o'clock Friday evening on Bethel and Turnquest Avenues. And police arrested a man they believe is responsible for those robberies taking place on bus route 16A in Carmichael. It was earlier this month when the drivers claimed they have been threatened, held at gunpoint and robbed of their daily earnings by an apparent organized group of violent criminals. Police are also questioning a 22-year-old male resident of Sandalins Village Road in connection with a recent housebreaking incident. The Daily Crime Report confirmed that shortly before 3 o'clock Friday afternoon, they received information of a housebreaking in progress at Hall's close off Gladstone Road. While en route to the scene, Southwestern Division officers observed the suspect reportedly attempting to flee the area in a dark blue Nissan Altima. Police apprehended one of the men. However, they are actively searching for two additional suspects in connection with this incident. Students across New Providence honored and recognized for their stellar academic achievements. Their story coming up.